Hey guys, so I am doing a tutorial and it's actually based off this shirt that I'm going to be wearing in about an hour. So I'm actually going out for my cousin's birthday and it's like, it's kind of like a bar mitzvah but it's not. So I was, I'm going to be wearing this top and I kind of wanted to base a look off of this top because of the really um, bright colors and uh, I just like the color scheme of this shirt so I tried to base um, this look off this shirt and I think I kind of succeeded a little bit. Um, let me zoom you in. It is a burgundy uh, brownish tone kind of look and I kind of I put like the nude in right in the corner and then on the dark on the out part because this shirt is lace and it has like white lace and then these flowers are like darker so it kind of went with it a little bit and then I just did a uh, dark fall lip because lips are very in and dark for fall so I just thought I would just go along with the trend so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started okay so I'm going to start out by priming with painterly paint pot from MAC also I'm going to be applying NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencil in milk just because it's just a white base so it's going to kind of make my colors enhance a little bit more and just put this messily all over your eyelid Okay, so today we're going to be using the 88 color palette from Coastal Scents. Okay, so the first color that we're going to be using is this soft nude right here. It's in like the first row. And it's the third one from the bottom in the first row. And we're just going to place this all over our lid. Just kind of mattify it a little, a little bit more. So this trio is from Wet Wild and it's wet walking on eggshells and we're going to be applying this color all over the lid. This burgundy color right here with a fluffy brush, we'll be applying this into our crease. very very lightly and also do windshield wiper motions we're done now we're going to be applying this dark dark purple all the way in the bottom down here with a pencil brush that looks like this mixing that dark purple where is it right here with we're going to mix this dark purple with this brown right here we're going to apply this in the outer corner. It's going to look a little intense, but we obviously are just going to fix that. I look like a complete clown, but we're just taking a fluffy brush and blend that out as much as you can like so this single eyeshadow from Lorac in Posh and it's just a really pretty uh, highlight color I'm using an angled brush for this because it gets underneath my brow bone a little bit better so we're just going to be applying this right here underneath the eyebrow I'm using my All My Wake Up Makeup Concealer and just apply a little bit right there and I'm going to be taking my concealer brush because my fingers are dirty And just kind of pat that right there. I'm going to be applying Melon Pigment from MAC in my inner corner. I'm taking this brown eyeliner from Jordana and I'm going to be applying this 
on my bottom outer lash line. So right there, just like so. Taking my Elf liquid liner. And this is what the applicator looks like. I'm going to be applying mascara off camera so that I don't have to take up time, so I'll zoom you off for the rest of the face. Okay, so since the eyes are a little dark, I don't, I'm not going to do blush because that's just kind of canceling it out and making it uneven to me. So, um, for lips, I'm not going to go dramatic or anything because, like I just said, the eyes are a little dramatic. But I am going to stay in the burgundy and cranberry family. This lipstick from New York Color, and this was Sugar Plum. And... It's a little bit like dark, but it's okay. I'm just going to be applying this Stay Glossy Lip Gloss from Rimmel. And this actually doesn't have a name, so, sorry. Okay, so this is what the look finally looks like. It's a little dramatic, but that's okay. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.